Good evening, welcome to the Palace here at Coldwater High School, where tonight WSM brings you a Midwest Athletic Conference matchup between two of the top teams in the state of Ohio. We have the New Bremen Cardinals here. They are 8-1 on the season, 2-0 in MAC play. They are the number two ranked team in Division IV. The host team, the Coldwater Cavaliers. They are the number two ranked team in Division III. They are 11-0 and they are 2-0 in Midwest Athletic Conference play. My name is Mark Shine. It's my pleasure to do play-by-play -play here this evening in a uh, typical Midwest Athletic Conference Thursday night. Big crowd on hand for both of these schools. First of all, throw out some props tonight. Melina Schrader, who is the junior setter for the Cardinals, has agreed this week to verbally commit to the University of Dayton to continue her volleyball career. She is one of the premier setters in Northwest Ohio and just a junior. We look forward to seeing her play this evening and next year and then continuing her career at the University of Dayton. We're going to cover our officials this evening. On the stand tonight, our R1 will be Dan Cook. And on the floor, our R2 tonight is Mary Bruns. Teams are being introduced as we look at the floor right now. The New Bremen Cardinals already have been introduced. They are wearing the white jerseys this evening, black shorts. They are libero tonight. will be in a maroon colored jersey. That is a number zero, Kira Steininger. She with 111 digs on this particular season. The homestanding Cavaliers, they are in orange and black this evening. Their libero is wearing an all-white jersey this evening, and she is Rachel Schroyer. Rachel's a 5'6 senior, and she will wear number one for the home school. A lot on the line this evening. As we come into MAC play, there are three teams that are undefeated. Two of them are here. That would be Coldwater and New Bremen. Fort Recovery is also undefeated this evening, not only in conference play where they are 2-0, but 7-0 overall. They tonight are playing at Gulfless and St. John's to continue that opportunity to remain undefeated. There are four other teams in the MAC or 4-1 coming into action this evening, or 1-1 coming into action this evening. Other conference matchups tonight are New Knoxville at Marion Local, St. Henry at Minister, and Parkway at Versailles. We've got the lineups introduced. If you are a fan this evening of good uh, setter play, we just talked about Melina Schrader a moment ago. She averages better than nine assists per set. Her counterpart wears number four for the Coldwater Cavaliers. That is Mia Kanapke. She is uh, uh, averaging 10 uh, sets, uh, assists per set. As she comes into action this evening as well. Both of them have the ability to score at the net as well. Melina Schrader has 50 kills in 29 sets. Mia Kanapke has 46 kills in their 34 sets. And we are ready for Midwest Athletic Conference volleyball action on a Thursday evening from Coldwater High School. Crowd on hand as usual. Both football teams rolled in a moment ago. The Bremen football guys are still coming in right now. And we have a little bit of a lineup mix up with the Cavaliers. We're going to switch Kara Kanapke. She wears number seven with Olivia Broering who wears number nine, and the trade places in our opening lineup here in the front row, back row situation. And now we were ready to play. That will bring number six, Morgan Blassing game to open up service tonight. She has 19 aces on the season, and it's Midwest Athletic Conference Volleyball for you. Serve goes to Heitkamp. Schrader went and got that one, and then it's pushed over by Heitkamp. Here's the set, out of the center. That's a tip by Spencer Etzler. Set again. That one's pushed to the open area by Broering. And there's Schrader tipping it over, and that's why she has 50 kills on the season. Very adept with that hand at the net. And just pushed the ball sideways to the open floor. And that gets Molina the opportunity to serve where she has 29 aces on the season. Float serve. Etzler had to go get that one. And Esther tries to tip it to an open area. Here's the set by Steiniger. Dammeyer hits that one. That is Amelia Dammeyer. Set again. And we had an illegal contact take place on the part of the, Cold of the New Bremen Cardinals. And so we're tied at one. Here's Spencer Etzler to serve. Steininger plays it. And then Heitkamp has to free ball it over. Back set. That's blocked by Dammeyer. 
This will be Olivia Heitkamp. Hello. Olivia Heitkamp showing you why she is a first-team All-Mac player a year ago and had 100 kills in their 29 sets prior to this evening. The only loss this year by the New Bremen Cardinal was to Crestview. That was a 3-2 match way back on the 24th of August. That's through from behind the 10-foot line. Schrader sets, and Heitkamp hits, and missed the sideline. We're tied at two. That five-set match with Crestview is the only time all year that the Cardinals have played more than three sets. Every other match, the other eight, have been 3-0 victories. To serve Olivia Broering. Serve goes back to the Cardinal and back to serve is Kira Steininger. Ribeiro. Gets it to her counterpart, Schroeder. I can. The ball landed in. I think there was a block with it as well. Had gone out of bounds. Gives a touch at the net. 4-2 Cardinals early on. On our home and interiors scoreboard. There's Kara Steiniger to serve again. The ball was hit by Madison Wendell. Heitkamp got that one from the back row. That hit was by Morgan Blassing game. And here's the free ball. Wendell again. And Wendell pounds it off a of blocker. Madison has a point for three in favor of New Bremen. And Madison will serve. She has 12 aces this year. Good serve. Schrader keeps it alive by banging it backwards. And Heitkamp, Olivia goes off a blocker. It's 5-3, visiting team. And Olivia Heitkamp will serve. She and Melina Schrader were first team all-conference players a year ago. Coldwater and New Bremen tied for the league championship a year ago. Both of them were 8-1. And we've got some discussion at the scores table here. And the issue is that Melina Schrader has some blood on her knee. There's no admission fee to watch this game, but there is a cost for us to broadcast. Say thanks to viewer supported TV44 by sending a financial gift. TV44 relies on the donations of viewers to enable airing this game and other locally produced programs. Donate now at WTLW.com and click Donate. A quick repair job here on Molina. Olivia we'll Heitkamp's waiting to serve. The buzzer you heard, you have 30 seconds to get a player back in the match or call timeout. And Coach Kramer says, we're going to take the opening timeout of the match. New Bremen up 5-3 early. You're watching High School Volleyball, WOSN. Today's scoreboard sponsor is Holman Interiors, servicing the Auglaise, Mercer, Dark, and Shelby counties. We are ready to partner with you on your home renovation or new building projects. The rule book says she got 30 seconds to replace an injured player, get him back in the match, or take a timeout. Coach Craver chose to take her initial timeout. She has one remaining. Saw the athletic director here, Mr. Eric Goodwin, out doing what all good ADs do, pitching in wherever he can. And Helping to clean a little blood up off the floor. And do we have a bit more? A 
Well, our line judge spotted a bit more blood on the floor. We will have these New Bremen Cardinal football game for you if you're watching this on the initial broadcast tonight. New Bremen matching up with the Marion Local Flyers. Going through all the blood protocols that we have. It's Coach Esser out there as well. I think we are finally ready for volleyball action and finally ready for Olivia Heitkamp to serve. Her serve floats over and she gets the initial ace of the match. The team doubles it up at 6 3. <laughs> Her 10th ace of the year. And that will be two in a row. Heitkamp pushes her team to a 7-3 lead. This one floats over. Here's the set. The hit out of the middle by Blasting Game. And then the kill. Nope, almost a kill by Kanapke, but they keep it alive. Schrader bumps it over. And Blasting Game says, well, I got this point. Takes a perfect set and puts it away. To serve will be Mia Kanapke. Ten aces for her. And she's going to get another one right there as she hits the top of the net and rolls one over. Much pace to the match yet. We've had a couple of stoppages of play. The team is trying to settle in a little bit. Trader sets. Height camp roll shot. Blasting game again, and she gets one off the net again. Kanapke to serve. And that one comes back. 8-6. April Baker, sophomore, will move into the server's role. Good hard hit to Wendell. Etzler, Spencer Etzler scores for her team off a blocker. Spencer was a first-team all-conference player a year ago. There's Kara Kanapke to serve. Just long. This will allow Sarah Dwenger and uh, Mary Riddler to trade spots. Sarah goes back to serve. So there's one of those designated server types, 11 aces on the season. And then she will play in the back row to Etzler. Olivia Broering hit it. Long. And it's 10 7. Here's Dwenger to serve again. <laughs> 10 8. And back in will come Mary Rindler. And then she'll be replaced by the libero, Kara Steininger. Morgan Blasting game to serve. Damire hits, but hit the end of the tape, it's an 8 a 9 10. I can't hit that one out of the middle. Wendell tips. Good play by Steininger. And then tipping the ball through a block is Amelia Dammeyer. Neither team has scored more than three consecutive points in the match. Each team has done it once. And Melina Schrader will serve. And 
And Etzler hits and puts it in. And to be rewarded for her efforts, Spencer Etzler will serve. 36 aces on the season. She leads the Cavaliers. Here's Heitkamp. Hits it to Etzler. Set. Wendell out of the middle. That ball was hit by Broering. Just dumped over by Schrader. Schrader sets again, and Heitkamp pounds it down. Olivia Heitkamp gives her team a two-point lead, and Amelia Dammeyer will serve. One of the three seniors that play for Coach Diana Kramer. And we are going to get a timeout. This one will go to the Coldwater Cavaliers. You're watching High School Volleyball on WOSN. We're pleased to announce new pricing for the WSN streaming service. For only $8 per month, you can watch WSN from anywhere at any time. Sign up today at app.wsn.tv. It's also available on Roku and Apple TV. Each team has taken the timeout. The Bremen leads by two in her in our opening set. And to serve will be Amelia Dammeyer. Back set Wendell. And not able to connect that time. It's 13-10. Bremen had a 7-3 lead. That four-point margin was the biggest of the match. Can match that here off of Dammeyer serve. Amelia gets an ace. She got that one to dive across the net. Third of the set, her 11th of the season. And there's that four-point lead. Amelia Dammeyer. Float serve, and it crawls across the net, and she gets a point. Back-to-back -back aces for her, makes it a five-point lead. Amelia to serve again. Kanapke sets. Esther has to back up to play that one. Here's a libero sets, and... That's an illegal back row attack. She was uh, partially in front of the 10-foot line, I believe, was the call. We're going to get a, a question about it. Going to send the captain over. I think oh, I see what he's called. He said that the, the uh, libero, Kara Steiniger, set the ball illegally. She used fingertip action from the front of the 10-foot line. If you're a libero and you want to set and you are in front of the 10-foot line, you must do it underhand and not use fingertip action. This is that libero, Kira Steininger, to set, serve, and that one crawls across the net. That one's blocked. Here's Wendell tips. Played by Riddler. And Heitkamp got a low set. Not much she could do with it. And put it into the net. And the Bremen lead goes to just four. Here is Madison Wendell to serve. 16-12 on our home and interior scoreboard. That serve is long. 17-12. April Baker steps in as Olivia Heitkamp goes to serve. This will be Etzler from behind the 10-foot line. Schrader hits to the back corner. What a play, and then Schrader went up and hammered it away. Really nice play in the back row. I think that was Wendell that went and got the ball and saved it initially, but she popped it over the net, and there was Melina Schrader to put it away. Six-point lead. Six. 
set. Blasting game hits. High camp to the middle of the floor. It's 19-12, seven point lead. Second time out, Coldwater Cavaliers. But keep it right here. TV 44 and WSN are nonprofit organizations supported by viewers like you. Now is a great time to make a donation in any size as a way to say thank you for this sports broadcast. Go to WTLW.com and click donate here. Donations are accepted 24 hours a day, and you can visit WTLW.com. Our home and interior scoreboard shows that the visiting New Bremen Cardinals have 19, 12 for the home team. They've had a four-point run. They've had a three, a two three-point runs. It's propelled them to this lead. Biggest run of the opening set for Coldwater was just a three-point run back earlier. If you're thinking about MAC championships, as we do on Thursday nights in North Central Ohio, St. Henry has won 29 MAC championships. Marion Local is second with 10. Then New Bremen sets there with six. And the Coldwater Cavaliers have won three, 2014, 17, and 22. There is Olivia Heitkamp to serve again, and she crawls that one over the net where it's played by, Stein, by uh, Kanapke. And then the big hit, and that's going to be a point that will go to the Cavaliers as that timeout works, and they break the string. Back to serve will be Mia Kanapke. Schrader will set. That's blocked. Rindler went up to put it away and couldn't. Etzler was there along with a teammate. It's 19-14. Here's Mia Kanapke again. And from behind the 10-foot line, that was Heitkamp. Etzler will set. That was a blasting game hit. And Schrader bumps it over. Blast the game again. This time it's Etzler. And Spencer missed the back line. April Baker serves this ball. Her team with a six point lead. Spencer Etzler, that's blocked. Schrader was there, as was Mary Rindler. 21-14, New Bremen. With April Baker to serve again. Rolls it off the top of the tape. Here's a set. Classic game tips out of the middle. Played by Heitkamp. That ball was hit by Dammeyer. From behind the 10-foot line is Wendell. Heitkamp from behind the 10-foot line. The shot's long. Trailing by six, Kira Kanapke will serve. She rolls one across the tape. Schrader sets. Dammeyer hits, and Amelia puts it away. 22-15. New Bremen three points away from an opening set. And in to serve is Sarah Dwenger. A good service run the last time. To Etzler. Blasting game hits. They save it. Good play. It's free balled over. Spencer Etzler. Dan Meyer hits. And Etzler has to track it down and free ball it over. Schrader hits, and she missed. That spot on the left side of the floor she likes to surprise you with, and she just pushed it out of bounds. Morgan Blasting game will serve. Junior was second team all conference a year ago. MAC. Here's Amelia Dammeyer. And she gets another kill. 
Vegas had a nice opening set. Melina Schrader will serve, and then she will set from the back row. Both teams run a 5-1. Flow serve. Diving save. Knappi gets to it. Wendell hits. And what do we got? We got a whistle. We have somebody wearing a white jersey in the net. And quite honestly, I missed the number that the officials signaled. Here's Spencer Etzler to serve. The team trails by six. High camp. Wendell. Dan Meyer tips. And a good play at the net. Wendell got that one sent back. 23 18. Spencer Etzler, float serve. Steininger came and got it, and Heitkamp wound up and hit it for a point. 24-18, set point with Amelia Dammeyer to serve. Napke sets. Wendell out of the middle. That was blocked. Kanapke free balls it over. Height camp. And Kanapke missed. Opening set will go the way of the New Bremen Cardinals, 25-18. Set two coming up after this. You're watching high school volleyball on WOSN. We're back at the Palace here at Coldwater, where our scoreboard is presented by Holman Interiors, servicing the Auglaise, Mercer, Dark, and Shelby counties. We're ready to partner with you on your home renovation or new build projects. Opening set went the way of the New Bremen Cardinals, 25-18. They had four aces in the opening set, two by Amelia Dammeyer and two by Olivia Heitkamp. On the other side, there was just one single ace for the Coldwater Cavaliers, that was by Mia Kanapke. The New Bremen Cardinals had a four-point run that went from uh, being up 11-10 to being up 15-10. They also had a couple of other three-point runs. The largest three-point run, the largest run for the Cavaliers was just three points when it went from four to seven, uh, three to seven to seven-six. Opening set. Of a three-set evening you have to do to win in, in high school volleyball. Here's Melina Schrader to serve. And we are into set two, and she dives an ace across the net. Her first of this evening. She leads the team with now 30 aces on the season, 29 before this evening. And those 274 assists. Almost another ace. Good diving play in the back row by Schroyer. Here's Schrader set. And Dan Meyer hits. Williams had a nice opening set here. That ball was put away by Kira Kanapke. And we're tied at one as Morgan Blassingame goes to serve. And that's going to be an ace for her. Morgan had 20 aces on the season now. She was second to Spencer Etzler on the team. Another good serve. Her team's up 2-1. And rolled over. That's a kill by Etzler. 3-1 early on. I think it's pretty important for the uh, Coldwater Cavaliers to get a lead early here. They did not lead at all in the opening set. They're up two here early in set number two. Blasting game to serve again. Another good serve from her. Schrader sets. Heitkamp has the free ball over. 
Kanapke sets. Wendell hits. It's blocked. And Wendell keeps it alive. Here's a set from the libero. And Heitkamp had to go off the side of her hand and missed the sideline. So three-point Cavalier lead. Classic gave serve as long this time, breaking that four-point run. And to serve will be Amelia Dammeyer. This will be Wendell in the front row. Tips to an open spot. Madison Wendell scores a point. It's 5-2. Spencer Etzler to serve. Etzler serve. It's the top of the tape. Gets across. Here's Olivia Heitkamp. She hits it off of Wendell's block for a point. 5-3 Cavaliers with Kira Steininger to serve. Hits it to her counterpart, Rachel Schroyer. And then sets, legally sets. Heitkamp tips it to the middle of the floor, and they can't quite keep it alive. 5-4, Cavaliers. Steininger trying to even this one up. As a libero, Kara Steininger has 35 assists on the year. As we see more and more of the libero becoming active offensive end as well. Here's a set. Here's Wendell. Madison gets a kill. It is 6-4. Send the to Central Michigan. To continue her athletic career is Madison Wendell. Here's Kara Kanapke to serve. It's at the high camp. And then wind up in a big hit. That is Olivia Dammeyer. She gets a kill, and that will send Olivia Heitkamp into the service area. Olivia Dammeyer got a nice round of applause from her teammates coming out that big hit. Heitkamp. Wendell using Madison a lot more here in set number two, and she has responded well. Her team leads by, by a, a couple, and she will head back to serve. 153 kills prior to tonight's action and 12 aces. And she missed the sideline. Wait for our line judge to make the call. April Baker to serve. Good hard serve off the tape. Here's blasting game out of the middle. Steininger played it and Schrader hit it over. And then going through the blockers for a point is Olivia Broering. Here's the setter, Mia Kanapke. She had an ace in the opening set. Dammeyer hits. There's Amelia Dammeyer. And it is 8-7. Sarah Dwenger will serve, as we've seen before. She replaces Mary Rindler, and then we'll get a libero exchange in a moment. 9-7. Difference in the match. Team, both teams having trouble scoring points off of service. Coldwater scored three points off of service back on their initial serve of this set. And the Bremen has only scored once, one point off of service in this set. Here's Abigail Schwederman to serve. And out of the middle, that ball was blocked by Etzler on the kill attempt by Heitkamp. It is 
Good substitution by Coach Nicky Esler as they did score a point off of service right there. Good serve to Heitkamp. Schrader sets. Dammeyer pushes it. Blasting game sets. Esler hits it through two blockers and she gets a point. It's 11 7, Cold Water. Here's Abigail Schwederman again to serve. She has nine aces on the season. This is kind of her role with this team. And that time she missed the back line. It's 11 8 Cavaliers. And here comes uh, Olivia Broering in, and she will replace Abigail Schwederman. Good service run for her. And Melina Schrader serves. Kanapke sets, and Etzler hits it and puts it away. Emphatic point by Spencer Etzler makes it 12-8. Morgan blasting game to serve. If you saw our match that we did with St. Henry back on the last day of August, Miles Holiday interviewed her, a well-spoken young lady. She had a really nice match that night. She missed that serve. And Amelia Dammeyer will serve. She had two aces in the opening set. Spencer Etzler, and she just clobbered it again. She has really gotten it going here in this set. She hit that one through Kara Steiniger. Makes it 13-9. Here's Spencer Etzler to serve. Played in the back row. Dammeyer hits and hit it long. That was Olivia Dammeyer. 14-9. Biggest lead of this set for Coldwater. That sort of floats it over. And tip, good play by Knapke, though. And then Blasting Game tried to put that one over the net and could not from behind the 10 foot line. It's 14 10 Cavaliers. And Kara Steiniger will serve. And she hit it just past the end line. It's 15-10. Neither team has taken a timeout yet. Our home and interior scoreboard says 15-10 in front of the favor of the Cavaliers. And this will be Kiara Kanapke to serve. And that one, that air mailed past the end line. Fifteen eleven as Olivia Heitkamp will serve. Senior hitter on this team. Good serve from her. And Wendell's shot is blocked, but blocked out of bounds by Mary Rindler. And it's 16-11, and we are going to get our first timeout of set number two. This one will go to New Bremen. You're watching High School Volleyball on WOSN. WOSN Scores app is new and improved. Download the brand new app from your app store so you don't miss any of the favorite team scores. The new WSN app replaces the old app, so make sure you download it today and stay up to date on all of the scores. The score of this one, our home and interior scoreboard. 16-11 in favor of Coldwater. The Bremen takes their first time out of this set. And Madison Wendell will serve. Schrader hits. Good play, however, by Etzler. And tipping the ball in open area, getting a point is Mia Kanapke. 17-11 Cavaliers. Wendell will serve again. 
It's a tight camp. Ball got up into the ceiling. Not much chance for the New Bremen Cardinal to do anything with it. Schrader made a diving effort for it. Couldn't get there. It's those girders up top and it comes back down in a hurry. Not much you can do with it. Seven point lead. Wendell again. Schrader sets. Tight camp has to back up to play it. Diving play by Etzler. Steiniger will set. That ball was hit by Baker, and they're going to get a point out of it. 18-12. And April Baker, who just scored that point, will go back to serve. And that was long, way long. 19-12. Here's the setter, Mia, Mia Kanapke, 5'9", sophomore. Schrader sets. Height camp from behind the 10-foot line, and they can't keep it alive. Good effort to block and play, but not successful. Olivia Height camp cuts the lead to six. Ava Trentman will enter and play in the front row for Coach Diana Kramer. And Sarah Dwenger will serve. Etzler pushes it right over the top of Olivia Heitkamp. Can't place the ball any better than what she did. Pushed it right over the tall and talented Olivia Heitkamp to the back corner and got a point up to, to a seven-point lead. It's been that way three times, 18-11, 19-12, and now 20-13. Here's Broering to serve, Olivia. 20-14. Melina Schrader. Turn to serve. Diving play by Rachel Schroyer. And Nessler gets a point. 21-14. On our home and interior scoreboard. Morgan Blasting game to serve. Both teams missing a lot of serves here. Both these schools, as many teams down in this part of the Ohio, play a lot of risk reward with their serve. Teams are going to miss some. I hope they put the defense in a bad position with others. Both have struggled somewhat. There's going to be an ace. That one will go to Amelia Dammeyer, her third of the match, second of this, or first of this set. 21-16. It's only the second time that New Bremen has scored off of service in this set. Etzler has to free ball it over. Schrader sets. And set it again. This time it's Olivia Heitkamp. Steininger will set Heitkamp again. She goes off a blocker. That's played by blasting game, but not successfully. And for the first time in set two, the Cardinals have scored three consecutive points and cut the lead to four. And we have Dammeyer again. Last game plays that. Etzler, and Spencer Etzler climbs the ladder. And Tomahawk, another one, 22-17. She and Wendell have had really good sets here in set number two. And, of course, the action of Mia Kanapka getting the ball in good spots is obvious as well. Here's that sort of serve. And she's going to get an ace. Her first tonight. We'll make it 23-17, and we're going to get a timeout that will go the way of New Bremen Cardinals. Check out our website, WSN.TV, for scores and standings for more sports and teams than anyone else in the state. You can check out our broadcast schedule, upcoming games, social media posts, and more at WOSN.TV.
Well, if you're watching this volleyball game on a Friday evening, coming up on Sunday, more volleyball action for you. A Saturday match between St. Henry and Fort Laramie, two of the top teams in this part of the country. That will air Sunday at 4 p.m. And then next Monday night, Fort Recovery will be at Crestview as, as we're going into tonight's action, two teams that are undefeated. They will play on Monday night at Crestview. That will air on WOSM Tuesday at 7 p.m. Second time out, this time by New Bremen, as they are a couple of points away from Coldwater taking set number two. Spencer Etzler to serve. Set, high camp, free balls and over. And that point's gonna go to Kiara Kanapke. We are at set point. Went off a blocker, rolled down the line. Here's that sort of serve. Trying to get it even at one set apiece. Dan Meyer hits. That was um, Olivia Dan Meyer. 24 18. The libero, Kier Steiniger to serve. Here's Kira. Etzler tried to push it across from behind the 10 foot line and could not. It's 24 19. And her coach says, Do I have any timeouts left? And our floor official, Mary Brun, says, You do. And so we're going to get a timeout that will go the way of the Cavaliers. In fact, that is just their first timeout here in the set which has gone pretty much the way they wanted it to to this particular point. Our JV match, really good high school volleyball for our JV teams this evening. The opening set was won by Coldwater, 25-22. But New Bremen came back to win set two at 25-20 and then played very, very well in set three, did the Cardinals, and they won that set 25-16. And when you watch Mac volleyball, you catch the JV match because there are some very, very good volleyball action that takes place in JV volleyball in the Midwest Athletic Conference. Here's Steiniger to serve again. Team trails by five. Trying to get back in this one. Another set point, however, for the Cavaliers. Gets it to blasting game. This is Wendell. And Wendell's shot is blocked, but it falls on the side of New Bremen. And that set will go the way of the Coldwater Cavaliers. Each team has won a set. Set three coming up after this. You're watching High School Volleyball on WOSN. Third set action coming up here from the Palace at Coldwater. Our scoreboard tonight is presented by Home Interior, servicing the Auglaes, Mercer, Dark, and Shelby counties. We are ready to partner with you on your home renovation or new build projects. Mark Shine here at the Palace. In set number two, Coldwater had a four-point run early in the set. They matched it later on with two, with three, three-point runs. Bremen was only score, able to score three consecutive points once in the match, second set of the match, and hence it went 25-19 in favor of the Cavaliers. And we go to third set action with Morgan Blastingame to serve. Morgan's one of those stat stuffer types. 115 kills, 19 aces, nine assists, 97 digs on the season. And Heitkamp hits the ball into the net. The opening point will go the way of the Coldwater Cavaliers. Good rally for them. They have had uh, mostly perfect matches this year. And this ball will be hit by Dan Meyer. Wendell hits. And Schrader hits, but she hits it to Kanapke. Wendell out of the middle. Schrader hits. And then from behind the 10-foot line is Blasting Game. 
Start to talk about the Coldwater Cavaliers. A lot of two O's and three O's. They went five sets with the Shawnee. They went five sets with Crestview. Winning both of those three to two. It's a float serve. Kanapke sets. And Spencer Etzler out of the middle. And back to serve she goes. Watched Spencer a lot over the last three years. She really seems to be attacking the ball well this evening, particularly when we got into set two and now set three. There's a big kill out of the middle. That one's put away by Ava Trentman. 2-2. Amelia Dammeyer to serve. It's a blasting game. Kanapke sets. Wendell hits. Dammeyer's able to track it down, and can Steiner keep it in play? Almost, but not quite. Good libero action. She went and chased it down, but couldn't get enough on it to get it over the net from a bit of an awkward angle, and Kiera Kanapke, Kanapke will serve. Schrader will set. That was Olivia Dammeyer. Broering missed. Tied at three. Kara Steiniger will serve. Back row, Etzler free balls it. Steiniger runs it down. Here's the set. And then the kill out of the middle by Mary Rindler. First time either team has scored off of service in set three. Steiniger again. And she gets an ace as she rolls it across the top of the net. The stat page that we got today Says that is her first ace of the season for Kira Steiniger. The team now has seven this evening. Kanapke sets, Wendell hits. Rindler tips it to the back row and she missed it. Good opportunity. Mary had a spot back there, just couldn't find a back line to put it down on. Wendell served. 5'11 senior, second team all conference in the MAC a year ago. Rendler, she got that one. Ran the slide play. Perfect set from Melina Schrader. April Baker enters to play in the front row as Olivia Heitkamp goes to serve. Classic game out of the middle, and what do we got? Double contact. Been a fairly cleanly played game as far as ball handling errors. Got one right there. It's 7-4 in favor of the Cardinals. Schroeder had to play that near the back line. Here's Blasting game with a big hit. And then right back at you, big hit by April Baker. Doubled them up, have the Cardinals. It's 8-4. And we're going to get our first time out of set three. That one will go to the Coldwater Cavaliers. You're watching High School Volleyball on WOSN. There's no admission fee to watch this game, but there's a cost for us to broadcast. Say thanks to viewers supported TV44 by sending a financial gift. TV44 relies on the donations of viewers to enable airing this game and other, lo other locally produced programming. Donate now at WTOW.com and click Donate. 8-4 early on. Blast the game tips and finds an open area. Nice play by Morgan coming out of the timeout. 
And to serve will be Mia Kanapke. She had an ace back in the opening set. One of the three aces her team has scored this evening. And we're going to get a sub before that happens as Paige Ontrop will enter, 5'10 freshman. Her first action this evening. Baker tips it over, pushed across by Kanapke. He'll joust at the net. Here's Schrader to set. And Baker's shot was blocked by Morgan Blasting Game. First four efforts to serve and score points were fruitless for Coldwater. On the fifth one, they get a point right there. Here's another service opportunity. Guess who's come alive? Mary Rindler put that one down. Very active set here going for Mary. And April Baker will serve. Her team leads by three on the home and interior scoreboard. And Oh, Wendell had to play that one in the back row. Here's the free balls are going to land in. It does not. Ten six. Second time the Cavaliers have had a four point lead. Uh, excuse me, the Cardinals have had a four point lead. Here's the float serve. Blasting game hits, and she gets a point as April Baker wasn't able to return the offering. Ten seven. Olivia Dammeyer will enter. Also entering will be Abigail Schwederman, who had a nice service round back in the second set. 10-7. Ace for her. Abigail Schwederman now has 10 aces on the season. And that one cut the lead to just two. Eleven eight Caval uh, Co uh, <laughs> Cardinals. Here comes Sarah Dwanger in to serve. She replaces Mary Renbourg, who had a good run in the front row of that uh, rotation. That's the rest to save that one. Ball was hit by Kira Kanapke. Good play by Dan Meyer. And then a big kill out of the middle. Nope, played by Dan Meyer. Heitkamp hits it to the back row. Set and put away in the front row by Ava Trentman. Good rally by both teams that particular point. Cardinals win it, take a four point lead for the third time in the set. Good play by Cardinals to keep that one alive. Here's Etzler. Took a little off that one. And then a block by Etzler at the net. Etzler and Blasting Game both there. Here's Morgan to serve. Team trails by three. I can't play it. Etzler. That time she went with a fastball and hit it long. Melina Schrader to serve. Wendell, Madison Wendell takes a short set. Scores for her team. Kara Kanapke, set that time by Mia Kanapke. And they were about to have the wrong person serve. Good coaching move, Spencer Etzler back to serve this one. Melina Schrader mishandled the ball that time. 
She was on the move, didn't quite get her feet underneath her the way she typically does. And we're now we're going to have a little conversation. Who should be the server? R2, Mary Bruns will check her lineup card and get everybody in the proper spot. And they agree that Spencer Etzler is the correct server. And here comes the libero in. And that will be Rachel Schroyer. 13-11 with Etzler to serve. Float. There's that quick set again out of the middle. Ava Trentman has another point. Amelia Schrader with a quick set. Amelia Dammeyer to serve. And Coldwater's still not quite sure where everybody belongs in their alignment. They've got people running around a little bit. Apparently that was legal. Here's Wendell. She hits it, but she hits it down. Yeah, she got it down on the floor. I'm waiting for the official to make a call. Got it down in front of Amelia Dammeyer. 14-12. Back and forth we go here. The lead has kind of stayed at that two and three point margin here. Kara Kanapke. Set. There's a kill that will go to Ava Trentman again. 15-12. Ava's had a good set here. And she bounces off the floor excited about what was, she was able to accomplish. Got some good high fives from her teammates. Here's Kira Steiniger. Set. And a big hit by Wendell. 15-13. Mia Kanapke doing a good job of spreading the ball around. And a different place to go with it each time. Here is Madison Wendell. To Steiniger. Schrader sets. And they had to push it across to Kanapke. Dammeyer hits, but it's blocked. Good play in the back row, and they can't quite keep it alive. Really nice play in the back row by Amelia Dammeyer just to keep the ball in play, but the team wasn't able to get across the net. And Madison Wendell serving, trying to even set three up on our home and interior scoreboard. And that kill will go to Mary Rindler. And April Baker will enter as Olivia Heitkamp will go to serve. Olivia had a pair of aces back in the opening set. Matthew runs after. Blasting game hits. What a set. Put that ball right on the net, and Morgan Blasting game really had a good swing at it. Here's Mia Kanapke to serve. Schrader hits. Wendell has to dive for it. That's going to be an improper set. The illegal back row attack. Same thing we had the opposite earlier. The, the uh, libero in this case, Rachel Schroyer, cannot use fingertip action if she is in front of the 10-foot line. And that, becomes an illegal back row attack, not because of the attacker, but because of how the set was done. Etzler. Another Spencer Etzler kill. 17-16. Neither team has been able to score more than three consecutive points here in set number three. Greenman did it twice. Coldwater did it once. You know, Coldwater has not done it in this set. But Green has done it twice. There they just got a point to tie it up at 17. Overpass went right into Spencer Etzler's wheelhouse and she put it away to an open spot. We're tied at 17 as Schwederman serves. Schrader sets. 
And that kill is put away by Rindler. 18-17. Sir Dwenger will serve the junior. And we're going to take a moment, wipe some perspiration up off the floor. Coach Ketzler. Crestview has, or Crestview, Coldwater has used one timeout in set number three. Mabrina has not used the timeout in this set. And we're tied at 18. There's Morgan Blasting game to serve. Heitkamp from behind the 10-foot line, and Olivia's going to get a point. A couple of good efforts by people wearing orange and black, but couldn't get to it to keep it in play. It is 19-18 with Schrader to serve. Molina serve. Kanapke sets Wendell. That's blocked. Heitkamp was there to block that one. It is 2018. New Bremen with a two point lead on the home and interior scoreboard. Blasting game has to play that one. Here's Etzler. And Spencer wants a touch. Didn't get a call, went out of bounds. And the lead goes to three for the Cardinals. Schrader again. Wendell just rolls it over. Here's Steiniger set. Dan Meyer hits. The initial block was by Madison Wendell, but her teammates couldn't keep it in play. It skipped out of bounds. And for the first time in this set, Coldwater, uh, New Bremen has scored four consecutive points, and Coldwater will take their second and final timeout of this particular set. If you're interested in where Midwest Athletic Conference Volleyball goes next week, they play Tuesday, Thursday next week. Huge matchup. Coldwater will be at Fort Recovery on Tuesday night. Going into tonight's action, that would be a pair of undefeated teams. Delphi St. John's will be at Parkway. Marion Local will be at New Bremen on Tuesday night. That will air on WSN Wednesday night at 7 p.m. For sales is at Minster. And the Knoxville will be at St. Henry next Tuesday night. The Thursday action next week, Parkway at Coldwater for sales at Dolphus St. John's, Fort Recovery at Mary Local, Minster at New Knoxville, and New Bremen will be at St. Henry. Here's New Bremen. They need three points to take set three and take a two-to-one set lead. Steininger will serve. Excuse me, Schrader serves. That play was by Dammeyer at the net. Etzler hits that one's block. And Olivia Heitkamp hits the ball to Kanapke. Etzler hits another one. That's blocked. Heitkamp got that one. Big joust to the net and finally put down by Turner. Either Ava Turner or Amelia Dammeyer. They were both there. And it is 23-18. The last five points have gone to New Bremen. We were tied at 18 just a moment ago. Schrader to serve again. Her floats it over. Etzler. And off a blocker, Etzler hits it out of bounds. That ends the run. A five-point run for the service of Melina Schrader. And now Spencer Etzler will serve. Schrader sets. Olivia Heitkamp. Hit it out of bounds. It is 
Etzler again. Olivia Heitkamp again. That one is in. 24-20. Her team is a point away from taking set number three as Amelia Dammeyer serves. Amelia, three aces tonight. She would like to get one in this set. She's had one in the first two sets. And she got it into the net. 21-24. Coldwater hanging in there. It's Abigail Schwederman. I'm sorry, it's Kira Kanapke. Seven, not two. And timeout, New Bremen. Coach Diana Kramer understanding the importance of this particular match. What set three means to them and just kind of regroup a little bit, bit with this three-point lead. She still has a single timeout remaining. Coldwater is out of timeouts. And we're having some discussion with the uh, athletic director, Eric Goodwin. And we're going to take a timeout while we straighten all this out. You're watching High School Volleyball on WOSN. Timeout, New Bremen, they're first. Here's the service by Kara Kanapke, and the serve goes long. And set number three will go the way of the New Bremen Cardinal. Set number four coming up after this. You're watching High School Volleyball on WOSN. We're back for set four here at the Palace at Coldwater. Our scoreboard tonight is presented by Holman Interior, servicing the Auglaise, Mercer, Dark, and Shelby counties. We are ready to partner with you on your home renovation or new build projects. In set number three, we were tied at 18. The New Bremen Cardinals went on a five point run. Four of those were service points to Melina Schrader. And that propelled them to a 23-18 lead and eventually a 25-21 set victory for them. Winning the opening set, New Bremen was 25-18, then Coldwater came back in one set, two, 25-19. Set three went the way of the Cardinals, 25-21. Odd number sets have gone to Bremen. The even number set went to Coldwater. Let's see what happens in set four as Melina Schrader serves. She serves the ball to Rachel Schroyer. And blasting game, hit it long. And the first point goes to New Bremen. Here's Schrader to serve again. Hits it to Wendell. Here's Etzler out of the middle, and she hits it right through Kara Steiniger. Spencer Etzler has played well all night long, but especially sets two, three, and now into set four. Here's Morgan Blast game to serve. And she gets an ace. Morgan had an ace back in set number two. That's her second one this evening. She had 19 before this evening. And she puts her team up one. Almost had another one. Good play by Steiniger. Here's Olivia Heitkamp, and she just tips it to an open area and gets a point. Good vision by Olivia Heitkamp. First team all-conference player in the MAC a year ago. 100 kills on the nose in 29 sets before this evening, and she certainly has added to that total of the night. As Amelia Dammeyer serves. Kanapke keeps it alive, and Wendell hits it right to Dammeyer. What a play by Schrader to keep that one alive, and Steininger bumps it over. Here's Wendell again. She missed hit it, and they're going to keep it alive. A couple of good plays that time, also one by Schroyer. Schrader tips. Here's Schroeder ran that one down. Free ball by Blassingame. And Turner hits it. That time she hits it to Kanapke. Best point of the night coming right here. Schrader sets. Turner hits again and gets a point out of it. 
best rally of the evening and being uh, ends up being won by the New Bremen Cardinals. Here's a set. Here's that suit. She just tips it. Olivia Heitkamp gets a point. 4-2. Gave a couple of points to Turner a moment ago. It was Ava Trentman made those plays. 5-10 junior. Here's Danmeyer to serve. Amelia. Troyer gets it. Here's Etzler. Block at the net. Olivia Danmeyer was there. So was Ava Trentman. 5-2. New Bremen trying to go 3-0 in the MAC. It's a blasting game. Here's Wendell out of the middle, and she mistimed it a bit. Four consecutive points. We were looking at a 2-1 Coldwater lead. Four consecutive points on service plus the defensive player a moment ago, and it is 6-2 in favor of New Bremen Coldwater with a timeout. You're watching High School Volleyball on WOSN. New Bremen Cardinals on a five-point roll, four of those under service from Amelia Dammeyer. Hence the timeout by Coach Etzler in this pivotal fourth set. Here's Amelia to serve again. She has three aces on the evening. Set, Etzler. Yeah, Spencer Etzler tips it to a good spot. Here's Heitkamp rolls it over. This will be Etzler again, this time with some power. She hits it through two blockers and gets a point. Coming out of the timeout. Just what Coach Nikki Etzler wanted. Here's Spencer Etzler to serve. Good serve. Set. That was Olivia Dan Meyer. 7 3. Kiera Steininger to serve. Troyer, Madison Wendell, big hit for Melina Schrader, and tipped out of bounds, and it will be a cold water point. 7 4. Kiera Kanapke to serve. Hike Camp has to go get it. Amelia Dammeyer plays it over. And a good placement of the ball by Mia Kanapke. We talked about the number of kills she had, 46 before this evening, and she found an open area in the middle of the floor, surprised everybody and got a point. The lead that was four is now two. Schrader sets. Tipped by Wendell. Set again. This is Heitkamp, and Olivia hits it to blasting game. Wendell. Madison tips it to the open area and gets a point for her efforts. 7-6. 153 kills in the 34 sets before this evening for Madison Wendell. Here's Kara Kanapke to serve again, and her serve is long. After three straight points, two on service. Service will go back to the Bremen Cardinals at 8-6, and that means that Olivia Heitkamp will serve. A couple of aces for her back in the opening set. Wendell's block. Tipped over by Kanapke. And winding up hitting the ball that time was April Baker. Here's Etzler from behind the 10-foot line. Baker again. 
and trying to push it over to an open spot was Mia Kanapi, but she illegally contacted the ball. Got to have both hands touch it at the same time and release it at the same time, and one of the few ball handling errors of this evening for either team. You think of the number of times those setters handle the ball in a match, it's pretty good. Big hit by Madison Wendell. That's the lead to two. And Madison Wendell will serve. Ten seven to Bremen. April Baker to serve. Coach Kramer calls the spot she wants to serve to go to. And it goes long. I think that's the spot she particularly wanted the ball to go to. It's kind of got away from her. April has served well this evening. That one was not one of her better efforts. Here's Mia Kanapke. Schrader sets. Dammeyer's block. I know Paige Ontrop was there. I think Wendell was there as well. And here is Kanapke to serve, trying to even this one up in set four. Back set, tipped to an open area. Essler keeps it alive. Good play by her. Here's a free ball over from Schroyer. And then there's nobody home. Rinder was expecting the set in a different spot that it came to. Ball fell on the court, and we're tied at 10. We split the first 20 points right down the middle. From behind the 10-foot line, high camp is short. And it's 11-10 now. Coldwater, the first time they have led in this set since they led 2-1. to one. Knapke. Mia served, gets an ace. It is 12-10. And time out, New Bremen. Coach Kramer thinks her team not moving as well as they were earlier. We're going to take a break, too. You're watching High School Volleyball on WOSN. TV44 and WSN are nonprofit organizations supported by viewers like you. Now is a great time to make a donation at any size as a way to say thank you for this sports broadcast. Go to WTLW.com and click Donate here. Donations are accepted 24 hours a day. Just visit WTLW.com. Service points by Mia Kanapke have propelled her team to a two-point lead and the first time out in set number four for the New Bremen Cardinals. Service by Mia again. Schrader sets. Ball's hit to Schroyer. And then blasting game hits. Morgan puts one away. It's 13-10. Morgan has played well in all facets of the game this evening. Hasn't had many kill opportunities like that one. And emphatically put it away. Six consecutive points for Coldwater. Heitkamp from behind the 10-foot line. Seven consecutive points. Knapke again. Float serve this time. Schrader puts it down with two hands. Again. Essler gets a hand on it. Schrader sets again. This is Dammeyer, and Amelia breaks the run with her kill. Seven consecutive points, six of them under service by Mia Kanapke, and it is 14-11, Coldwater. Here's Sarah Dwanger. Esther has to save it. Blasting game puts it over. Schroyer gets that one. Here's Etzler. And it's blocked out of bounds. Spencer's effort scores for her team. It is 15-11. 
Enter Kiera Kanapke. Enter also Abigail Schwederman. Five, five senior. And just long. Looked like it might die to the back line. It did not. That will bring Paige Ontrop in. And then the libero, Rachel Schroyer, replaces her on exchange. Here's Melina Schrader. Her team trails by three in set four. And Wendell goes and gets it. This will be blasting game, free balled over. And Heitkamp, Olivia. Got a point. 15-13. The back set from Melina Schrader. Here's Melina to serve again. Five-point run by New Bremen. Seven-point run for Coldwater. That's the Cavaliers with a two-point lead. The ball's pushed all the way to the back row for Dammeyer to run down. This is sister Dammeyer. Essler keeps it alive. Blasting game plays it. And then hit off a blocker. Wendell gets it. Blasting game tips to an open area. Here Schrader pushes it to the back row. And Kanapke gets it. Spencer Etzler. Steininger with the play. And illegal contact. Trying to push it across the net. Get a point for her team, but did so illegally. And it is 16-13. Here's Morgan blasting game. And we're going to change out volleyballs. Here's Morgan. Schrader sets. Olivia Heitkamp hits it to Kanapke. Etzler hits. Dammeyer played that one. And is it four? It is. Ball got into the tape. It was not played by a defender. It is 17-13. Ace chalked that one up for Morgan blasting game. Second in this set, third of the evening. She's pushed her team's lead to five. And that ball got up high. That also becomes an ace. That got up into the netting up above and came rocketing back down. New Bremen will take a timeout. Coldwater has taken the lead to six. We're pleased to announce new pricing for the WSN streaming service. For only $8 per month, you can watch WSN from anywhere at any time. Sign up today at app.wsn.tv. Also available on Roku and on Apple. Our home and interior scoreboard, it is 19-13 in favor of the Cavaliers. They have scored four consecutive points here. After New Bremen cut the lead to 15-13. To Looking for state tournament action stuff. Coldwater's been to state twice. They were second in 2017. Also were there in 1994. But New Bremen, they have been state champs three times, 2017, 19, and 2022. They are the defending state champions in Division Four. They were also runner-up in 2018 and in 2020. Here's Morgan blasting game. The team is up six to Steiniger. Set, Olivia Heitkamp, and Olivia gets a point. What Coach Kramer wanted coming out of the timeout. Good set to your first team all-conference returning player, Amelia Danmeyer to serve. Kanapke will set Wendell, and Wendell Fish is waiting for a call. Finally got it. It is 19-15. Cavalier captain Spencer Etzler talking to our R1 today, Dan Cook, about the call. 
And that's how you do it in volleyball. Coaches don't yell across the floor at officials. They send their captain over to discuss things with them. Well done by Coach Etzler. Here's a set. And Spencer Etzler gets a point for her team. 2015, and Spencer will go serve. Coach Etzler talking with Morgan Blassing game. Spencer serve to Heitkamp, Olivia. And then Blassing game gets that one on the hit that took place from Trentman as push long. 2016. Kiara Steininger will serve. And Bremen does not have an ace in set four. Kanaku sets Wendell. And Wendell missed the sideline. 2017. Since the timeout, four of the last five points have gone the way of the Cardinals. Steining a float serve. Kanapke sets. Wendell hits. That one was long. So it was not quite where Madison would have liked the ball to be. And you can see that she and Mia Kanapke slap hands there, realize they're a little out on the same page on that particular attempt. The lead's two. Steininger again. Wendell just tips it and gets a point. Ball fell between about four Cardinals, all looking at it. Good placement of the volleyball. It is 21-18 with Kiara Kanapke to serve. Olivia Heitkamp, big time hit, great set, 21-19. April Baker enters. Olivia Heitkamp to serve. Etzler plays that in the back row. Schrader just bumps it to the back row. Here's Wendell, she hits it into a blocker. Schrader was there, Molina gets the block. It is 21-20. Heitkamp trying to serve to tie it up. The last time it was tied, it was 10-all. Set, Wendell shots blocked. That time it was April Baker got it, and we are tied at 21. Coach Etzler says, timeout, her second. You're watching High School Volleyball on WOSN. Eight of the last 10 points on the home and interior scoreboard have been scored by the New Bremen Cardinals. And in doing so, they've got this one knotted up at 21. Second timeout by Coldwater. Here's Olivia Heitkamp to serve. And Olivia gets it up into the rafters on Schroyer's play. Here's Entrop bumps it over. Schrader will set. And a kill. That one will go to April Baker. Looking back quickly over my score sheet, New Bremen led 6-2. They led 7-3. They led 10-7, and that was the last time they led until 22-21. That's black. Free balled over. Schrader hits and missed. Molina had the right idea. She saw an open spot, but she couldn't get the ball where she wanted it to go. And we're tied at 22 as Madison Wendell will serve. Bremen still has a timeout left, and that one's going to be overpassed and blocked by Schrader, but blocked out of bounds. 23-22, Coldwater. Wendell again, 
And missed it long. We're tied at 23. It's 25 win by two now. April Baker to serve. Jump serve. Goes to Rachel Schroyer. Here's blasting game to hit. Keep it alive to the Cardinals. That was blocked. Blocked at the net by Amelia Dammeyer. Pass was just a little bit long. Mia Kanapke went up to play it. It came back, and it's 24-23 set point match point for a new Bremen. Off the tape, diving play by Etzler to keep it alive. Blasting game hits. A great play to keep the ball alive, and then the big kill by Morgan Blastingay makes it 24 all. Here is Mia Kanapke to serve. Schrader goes a long way to get that one. It's going to be kind of a scramble play. Schrader tips it over, finds the middle of the floor. Oh, they called a double contact. Melina Schrader mishandled the ball, and hence the point goes to Coldwater. They now lead 25-24 set point for them. And not this time, though. That ball was put away by Mary Rindler. We'll tie it at 25. And it's like this every single night in the Midwest Athletic Conference Volleyball. Here's Sarah Dwanger to serve. It's a win by two now. Etzler hit it long. 26-25, New Bremen. Their fans ready to explode on the far side of the floor. Dwenger will serve again. Blasting game played that one. Here's Morgan again. And Morgan gets it right back. We're tied at 26. And in the serve is Abigail Schwederman. First serve goes to Heitkamp. And hitting it long. Cardinals want a touch. They're not going to get a call. 27-26. Everybody wearing a white jersey thought Trentman's ball was touched. None of the four officials felt that way. And now the Cavaliers with a single point lead. Schwederman serves again. Dan Meyer tips. And we're going to get illegal, illegal contact. Yeah. Mia Kanapke put two hands up, put it on the ball, and you can kind of tell that uh, over her head type situation that she had contacted it illegally, just trying to keep the ball in play. We're tied at 27. Melina Schrader will serve. Here's Kanapke set, and Etzler hits it through a block. 28-27, Coldwater. Morgan blasting game to serve. Dammeyer, Schrader, Olivia Heitkamp, block. Steininger had to play that one. Here's Heitkamp again, and this time she hit it off a block. And we are tied at 28. And back to serve will be Amelia Dammeyer. She has three aces this evening, two in the opening set, one in set number two. Here's her serve. And Etzler, Spencer Etzler goes through a blocker and the ball goes out of bounds. It is 29-28. Spencer Etzler to serve. Yeah. 
Schrader pushes it to the back row. Some free ball action. That ball's blocked. Nessler gets to it. That one's kill, and that point's going to go away. Mia Kanapke put it away. Coldwater will take set number four, 30 to 28, and we will go to set five on the home and interior scoreboard. You're watching high school volleyball on WOSN. We're back at the Palace here at Coldwater. Our scoreboard tonight is presented by Home and Interior, servicing the Auglaise, Mercer, Dark, and Shelby counties. We're ready to partner with you on your home renovation or new build projects. We're to set five. Bremen took set one, 25-18. Coldwater took set two, 25-19. Back to New Bremen for set three, 25-21. And Coldwater just won set four at 30-28. New Bremen has played one five-set match this year. They lost to Crestview 3-2. to two. Coldwater has won both of their five-set matches this year. Ball was hit by Amelia Dammeyer. What a save by Etzler. But the first point will go to the New Bremen Cardinals. Two of the three undefeated teams in MAC action going into week three of volleyball. We are to set five. Marina Schrader serves. And that ball was overpassed. And with that, Ava Trentman put it away. And quickly, the Cardinals are up 2-0. Schrader serves again. Mia Kanapke sets. That's blocked. Blasting game gets to it. Mia Kanapke saves it. That's Olivia Heitkamp, in or out, it's in. 3-0, back set by Molina Schrader, Heitkamp put it away. Right down the line, fact, our line judge had to duck a little bit, and wasn't quite sure what her call was gonna be. 3-0, Cardinals. Off the tape, Spencer Etzler, that's blocked. Four zero. Remember, we play this one to 15, win by two when you get to the deciding set. The fifth set deciding set. Wendell. There's Dan Meyer. She hits it to Mia Kanapke. Spencer Etzler tracks it down. Heitkamp was there. Kanapke got to that one. And finally, Coldwater breaks the string of four consecutive points to begin the set. Here's Spencer Etzler. Steininger. And then Heitkamp is long for two. Spencer Etzler again. Schrader sets. Here's Heitkamp. And Olivia gets a point this time. Off a good Molina Schrader set. It's 5-2. And back to serve is Amelia Dammeyer. Amelia serve to Spencer Etzler, to Wendell. Good play that time by Olivia Dammeyer. And then Heitkamp hits it to Etzler. Schrader sets again, and Tretman will get a put away. Ava puts her team up 6-2. Dammeyer. To Morgan Blassing game. Here's Wendell set. Blassing game has to free ball it over, and then Heitkamp. 
Seven out of the first nine points have gone the way of the New Bremen Cardinals and a timeout Coldwater. You're watching High School Volleyball on WOSN. The WSN Scores app is new and improved. Download the brand new app from your app stores. You don't miss any of your favorite team scores. The new WSN app replaces the old app, so make sure you download it today and stay up to date on all of the scores. Our home and interior scoreboard, seven for New Bremen, two for Coldwater here in set number five. Here's Amelia Dammeyer to serve again to Morgan Blasting Game. Here's Wendell, and Madison comes out of the timeout and gets her team a point. Perfect pass, great set from Mia Kanapke, and a put away by Madison Wendell. Here's Kiara Kanapke to serve. Kiara's serve is long. It is back to a five-point Cardinal lead. They scored the first four points, then two by Coldwater, and then three more by New Bremen. Now it's at 8-3. Steiniger to Etzler to Wendell. Steiniger will set. Heitkamp puts it away. I was watching Coach Kramer, and she loved the set that time that she got from Kira Steiniger and the kill from Olivia Heitkamp. Nine to three, her team is up six. Rachel Schroyer, on top, hits, and it's right on the back line, perfectly placed. Ball by Paige Ontrop. It's 9-4 with Madison Wendell to serve. To Damweyer, and that's going to be an ace, the first one of the evening for Madison Wendell. Picked a good time to do that. It cuts the lead to 9-5. Another good serve. Heitkamp rolls it to the back row where Wendell makes a good play on it. Another good set from Steiniger and Heitkamp again. Those two have worked well the last couple of possessions. It is 10-5. Kara Steiniger had 35 assists before tonight. She's had two beautiful ones here in set number five. Olivia Heitkamp to serve. Blasting game will set. Mia Kanapke hits and she gets a point. Mia got her body turned around. She had 46 kills before this evening. She gets to serve right now. She had a couple of aces tonight. Schrader sets. Tip. That tip was by April Baker. Heitkamp just rolls it over. Blasting game sets, and Etzler gets it blocked. Melina Schrader got it, sent it back. It is 11-6. Future University of Dayton Flyer, Melina Schrader. April Baker to serve. Her team's up five, four points away from taking the match. Good serve. Kanapke sets Etzler. Spencer's shot is blocked. Blasting game hits and she scores. 11-7. April, uh, excuse me, Abigail Schwederman will enter to serve. Had several successful serve runs this evening. She's got an ace tonight as well. Schrader, two hands it, but to Kanapke. Spencer Etzler. 
Heitkamp from behind the 10-foot line. Schrader hits and gets a point. Molina climbs the ladder. 12-7, New Bremen. Sarah Dwenger will enter. So does Ava Trentman. Kara Steininger getting a lot of high fives from her teammates. She has had a very good fifth set. Knapke sets. Diving play by Dwenger. Free ball by Heitkamp. And blasting game hits. Morgan comes through for her team. Back to four points it goes. Coldwater has scored just two points when they have served here in set number five. Morgan blasting game trying to change that around. And her serve is right on the line, and she does so. An ace for Morgan blasting game, her fifth of the evening. Every time I see Morgan, she plays well. Here's another serve from her, and that one is a bit long. 13-9. Melina Schrader will serve. Gets the call from Coach Kramer where she wants this serve to go. It goes to blasting game. Wendell. And it gets up in the rafters. What a play by Schrader to get to it, just to keep it alive, then free balled over. Etzler. Etzler hit it wide. It is 14 to nine, New Bremen. Trying to close out set five. Here's Wendell. And Wendell hit it out. Her teammates calling for a touch and the line just has one. New Bremen thought they had it. The line judge says, I've got a touch. That's the call. And so it goes to 14 to 10. Schrader sets. Olivia Heitkamp. What a play. But not able to keep it in play. A diving attempt to get to the ball by Spencer Etzler. She popped it up in the air, but it went a bit long, and Coldwater will come up short in set five as New Bremen takes it 15 to 10. Our match went this way. New Bremen took set five, 25-18. Coldwater set two, 25-19. Back to New Bremen for set three, 25-21. A wonderful set four, won by Coldwater, 30-28. And then New Bremen will take set five at 15-10. First loss of the year for the Coldwater Cavaliers. They will drop to 11-1 on the season. They are 2-1 in the MAC. New Bremen will go to 9-1, and they will be 3-0 in MAC play. We want to thank our sponsor tonight. That will be Home and Interior. They sponsored our scoreboard this evening. The athletic director here, Mr. Eric Goodwin, and the job that he did getting us all set up this evening. Nick Fraley got pushed into extra duty this evening. He did our camera, audio, and all that type of stuff, and we'll take this back to the station and edit it all together. And we'll have a chance to edit together a new Bremen five-set victory over the Coldwater Cavaliers. You've been watching High School Volleyball on WOSN.